Hello fellow learners, welcome to the other tutorial on Beamer package for web navigations. I should warn you in the beginning of the video, this is going to be boring for sure, but in the end of the video, you will able to understand how this web app navigation works and how it should work in an optimal way if you planning on keeping your web app's performance at peak. This topic is a frequently requested one, which emphasizes more on explaining how normal navigation and nested navigation can be done in web apps like this. So stick to the video till the end. Let's quickly see the output. I have designed it to look more like nowadays most web apps. In most cases of the web application, the left hand side will be fixed and the right hand side will be the dynamic one, which changes every time. So our main goal is to keep the left hand side fixed and whenever something is pressed from left hand side, it should refresh to highlight that title and the right hand side should change accordingly and also the URL should update. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. We are not going to write any code today, I will just explain the code fully, please follow up with me keenly. Now if you have watched my previous video, you should know that Beamer should be initialized at the very first widget of the app, you can see I have done the same. Now let me explain the structure of the app, first is our landing screen, which contains two widgets inside a row. One is our side navigation bar and the other one in the right hand side is the screens that will change. Let's give the side nav widget a look. Side navigation bar contains five titles. Whenever it is clicked, beam to named function is used to change the URL. Once the URL is changed, based on that the selected title variable will change, like this. This will also listen to the URL change from the URL box as well, like this. Now the right hand side, for every page I have created separated widget. Ok now the structure tour is complete, now let's get into the navigating part. We have two methods to do it, to cover wider audience I will explain both, and things needed for it. First is using root location builder, this is the easiest and majorly used one. So wherever you intend to use nested navigation, wrap that widget with beamer widget, this is explained in the Beamer package in details. And provide a global key for it. Please note it is important for side navigation bar. Then provide Beamer delegate with all your URLs filled like these inside Roots Location Builder. Let me explain the URLs now. This asterisk means it will be shown for all except these below URLs. For example, if I type anything other than the provided URLs, then it will show this page only. Next is these URLs. These are normal ones with scale transition whenever you open or close it. And value key here is very important. Please do not forget to provide one. You can also pass a data as an object to this, but it is not the scope of this tutorial. Please let me know in the comments if you would like to know how this works. Next one is this settings URL. This is unique because this also nests two other URLs in it. So you will listen to this state.path pattern segments field. If it contains accounts or profile, we will push account settings or profile settings page respectively. Now let's see the second method, on how to create it and what are the requirements, and when you can use the second method over the first method. Let me uncomment the second method now and comment the first method. This method is like changing the URL first and then finding a suitable page for that, for example, if the root info.location contains dashboard word, it will push the dashboard location widget and so on. This dashboard location widget is nothing but a class that extends beam location widget. Let me create a new one and show you.
I will name this class default location. Now let me extend beam location. Once this is done, you can just create the two missing overrides like this. Now in the build pages method, you can just pass the beam page just like before and provide a unique key in child. In the path patterns you can just pass one or more URL paths, whichever you desire. And for the question when to use this is, whenever you need more customization, on the URL part, because here you have option to create your own custom state and pass it here. If you like to learn more about this, please find the URL for the example project at the right top. Let me show you the full output once again. Okay, that's it for today my fellow learners, we'll meet you in the next video soon, cheers!